Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. In the last episode, we took on the trading quest that we started in the Northeastern Sea, but we haven't really gotten a chance to explore the rest of the Northeastern Sea. So in this episode, we're going to do just that. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the frog, so we're going to be doing that first things first. Uh, so what we're going to want to do here is... What's the... Okay, it's the, it's the W one, that's right. I briefly forgot the... Uh, oh my goodness... It's not that hard! There we go. I don't know what I'm doing to draw that wrong and how I can draw it more consistently. I mean, maybe you guys told me last episode, but I'm literally recording these episodes back to back, so hell if I know! But that's okay, this is close enough to Northeastern Sea anyway, so we're gonna head there. We have the Great Spin Attack now, and I'm going to put that to good use in this episode, where we're going to take on uh, some new and exciting islands, and by that I mean one. There's really only one hidden island, it's really the only island worth... Uh, heading to because the two islands we can see here are both, both these islands are actually uh, plot related so we're gonna want to head around here-ish for our first, uh, for both, basically both rewards because the golden, we should find the golden frog along the way based on where it is so we should be able to do that, maybe a big swordfish will appear at some point, we can do some fishing because uh, if we have some extra time I'll probably actually, I'll actually even potentially go to Harrow Island and see if I can get the... Ooh, there we go, Golden Frog, let's get him. Come on, Golden Frog! Oh yeah! First try on the Golden Frog! Well, second try, I'm shooting it, but first try before it went away. So the final, this is the final Golden Frog in the game, guys. There's only one Golden Frog in the Northeastern Sea. Because there's not really much to do in the Northeastern Sea, and this is a pretty location, good location for both islands. So this is this thing we want to draw on the sea chart, we will do just that. Uh, our symbol is basically a thing like this. So it's like a... For some reason, it makes me think of a Z, but it's more like I don't know. It's like it's like a rectangle with one of its walls caved in, essentially. So that's uh, the symbol to get to the northeastern sea. We'll make good use of that. Plus, it's just good when you're trying to go between the islands. It just saves you some travel time, which will be nice. So, uh, depending on how long this island takes, it's a fairly lengthy island side quest for once. So this will take us a decent amount of time. I might also just end at the next island as well. Because along the way, I'm pretty sure there's pirates anyway, and we're gonna have to uh, kill them, which means there's gonna be a free treasure to get anyway, so I'll probably do that in this episode too. Just because, why not? So that's the basic game plan for now. Uh, we're gonna basically traverse the island here. We can see uh, the the new island up ahead here. It's kind of new. There's no new enemies in the northeastern sea in case one, at least as far as I can tell. So. Uh, it's just your same old, same old. In fact, you can mostly see these guys. You barely even see the sharks, which are the real danger. Hi, Celia! Notice the island! Celia? Island. Celia. Celia! For goodness sake, there's a goddamn island here! Thank you! God, you're blind! And people say I pronounce her name wrong, by the way. I pronounce everything wrong. And to be honest, it's just the way I pronounce things. And I'm too stubborn to change. Shakes fists. Darn kids, get off my lawn. Anyways, the new island is here, and this is a fun island. I like this island. It's a tricky sort of side quest, but you get some pretty good rewards for it, and uh, it's also kind of fun in my opinion. So, welcome to Maze Island. Of course I would like the mazes. And as you can see on the top screen, it's quite the doozy of a maze, too. And not only that, but we also have locked doors and spikes and everything and switches to hit. It's... Certainly a complicated thing to navigate, but I have some practice, and best of all, I have the ability to move fast in it, because it's a time puzzle as well, using the great spin attack. So, that's the plan. The Hall of Fame, currently blank. Let's fill that up then. Uh, it's going to cost us some money to do this, but we should be able to uh, do this pretty quickly. So, the rules, essentially. Uh, he's going to cause some of his uh, buddies to appear, and you have to whack them all before, and you have to whack them all and grab the treasure after you hit them all before the time runs out. The time is really, really precise. It is not very forgiving, so even on beginner, it's pretty tricky. So we're gonna have to, I'll show you the optimal, I consider the optimal path for victory as we go through this. So let's see if we can do all three challenges. First off is beginner. It's only 20 rupees for beginner, so at least you're not wasting too much time as you're getting used to the mechanics. First thing you want to do in this thing, the most important thing to do in this challenge as soon as you hit the, which by the way, position yourself as close as possible just to give yourself a little bit of a head start. These four things will appear, and on the top screen they'll have the exclamation, mark, exclamation marks where they are. But those will not last forever, so the first thing you want to do, instead of having to memorize where they are, go to your map, and just mark them down. 
so you'll know where all four of them are. And you can easily, uh, it's like, I think I drew that one a little. It's it's like in this thing or something. No, actually, it's it's in the it's in the lower part here, so it's like down here. Anyway, we know the basic locations of them. So the, your first instinct would be you'd want to see it, see it disappear already. Your first instinct would be, hey, you want to go for the one that's closest. For this specific one, I don't actually like going for the one that's closest. As long as you're in here, by the way, I'm pretty sure it pauses the timer. Um, you don't want to go to the one that's closest. You want to go to the one that's actually on the top there. You're, we're going to go to the top. We're going to head down to... Actually, wait, how do I want to do this again? I believe I'm going to go from the top to the bottom to the right to the left, I want to say, is how I did it before. That sounds kind of crazy. Actually, no, I want to go... We want to start... I'm going to start... Okay, we're going to start on the... Hmm. We're going to start on the bottom. We're going to go basically clockwise, because I want to end that one that's closest because of reasons that you'll see later. Okay, so that's my game plan right now. So like I said, if you need to go someplace in a hurry, you can use the great spin attack to really speed up some time. Uh, this spike thing will go, hit, will go down from that switch, which is something we're going to want to use in the future, but for now we uh, don't really have just the way this one works, it kind of doesn't work out, which might actually hurt me in the long run, because that was a lot of a detour, which it's easier if you can hit that spike switch down. Every, almost every single one of these has a trick that where you can uh, hit down a spike thing or use some sort of, or hit a switch or shoot an eye or something in order to speed up the process, which is something we're going to have to do for Intermediate Expert. Just do the positioning, the fact there's only four of them, at a really short amount of time, I actually consider it easier to go this way. Plus, you want to go this way first so you can get that spike thing down, get this thing. Then we're going to head straight up here. Uh, we can't actually cross the gap over here because it's a one-way gap that you use the grappling hook to do which won't exactly help us out, but I'm going to grab this one next. The reason I'm grabbing the closest one last is because when you hit all four of them, you'll see where the chests spawn, and it's actually easiest to access the chest from there. It's not necessarily a trick I'm going to use for intermediate and, and, uh, or expert for, for reasons, but essentially you want to head over here this way, head on this ramp, jump to the left, head down here on the bridge, the last one's here, and the reason is because when you hit all four of them, the chest will spawn. And it spawns on a ledge, which you need to actually jump on here to access. So you're actually really close to the chest from this point. You don't have to backtrack all the way over here just to jump across and get the reward. So that's the way I like to do that one. I like to save that one for last so I'm close to where the treasure chest is. It's not necessarily what I'm going to use for future ones, though, because they're going to add more of them. And thus there'll be even more ones we can end with that are near a ramp for us to climb up on. So it'll be different as we go, and I might screw up, I might have to... I have to kind of remember my different patterns, because I've only done this once in my practice file. I have to kind of remember all my strategies, so... We got Wisdom Gem for the beginner level. The next one's normal. So, 50 rupees per try, we are going to go for it. It's more expensive if you screw up now, so... And this time you have double the amount of guys to get. There is more... T you do have more time allowed, I believe. But, uh... It's still going to be pretty tricky, so we now have... A whole bunch of extra guys showing up here. And we're going to have to get all of them. So first off, we want to do, and once again, mark the new ones down your map. But it'll always be the same four to start with in the beginner, and then they'll always have the same four from beginner and then four new ones. So you won't have to remark any of them. It'll be the same four as before. You'll just have to get a few new ones along the way. Okay. So as you can see, the four on the right are pretty close together. This one's actually fairly easy to get. So the way I want to do this one is... I essentially... I'm going to save the top one for last this time. Uh, we're going to go to the one in the northwest, head down to the one, uh, the closest one, and then jump across the gaps, grab the four on the right, and then head down. That makes the most sense, I think. Or then head up and grab the last one. Okay, that's their game plan. Let's go! So I'm not going to use the Great Spin Tech. It helps save sometimes some, time, some situ situations, but in this case it doesn't, because we need to head over here and immediately shoot this, and then what you want to do, switch to your boomerang immediately, because you're going to run across here, there'll be a switch you can hit the boomerang from here, which, oh crap, it wastes too much time! That'll unlock the spikes over there, which will help you get back quicker, so do that. Every little thing you can do to save time helps in this. Every little thing you can do. So, we can get past this now. Yeah. Speed down here, cross this thing. Oh hey, I hit the spikes, which stopped me from being stunned! Ugh! So much time saved with the Great Spin Attack there, it's beautiful. So hit that one, we're going to jump across the gaps here. Make sure while you're up here you grab this third one down here. 
Very important. So grab this one. And then, uh, oh, I want get to that, get that switch down there, but it's not really... Actually, no, I, I can, bo I can uh, boomerang that one, so that's fine. Okay, so hit the spikes down here. It makes getting this one way, way easier once again. So hit that one here. That's four down. Uh, we're going to quickly keep our boomerang out. Hit the switch. It'll unlock the spikes over there, which will allow us to get that one easier. And then we head over here, do what we did before. Shoot this arrow with the buzz. You can see all the traps reset as we go, so... Shoot this one. And it locks the bridge and gets rid of the spikes, which allow us to get two of these really quickly. So, uh, what we want to do, we're gonna go ahead and hit this one. Run over this way. I don't think the spin- use, only use the great spin attack when you're going- By the way, there's a treasure there. We're gonna deal with that later. Don't worry about that treasure until after we've finished all three of them. We'll deal with that treasure at the end. So, uh, quickly down, go down here, hit this one. And then we have one left. Unfortunately, this is the this is the pretty big uh, distance. We're gonna great spin attack to speed up our process here. Yeah, the stun hurts, but it helps in the long run, I think, to use the great spin attack, especially if you can hit yourself on a spike switch at the end, and then life is good. So now we have to uh, quickly make our way to some sort of ramp so we can get up there, which is the big problem with this strategy is. You then have to speed to a ramp. Luckily for us, it's pretty close by. It's not beeping yet, so we should have enough time. The fact that we can actually get this done without it even beeping means we just have a huge amount of time, which is awesome. Uh, so, you get yourself the you know, a treasure map, basically, for Intermediate. So, that's Intermediate taken care of. But now we have the difficult one. Now we have to do Expert. Okay. This is the real challenge. 100 rupees per game, so you really cannot afford to screw this one up too much. But here we go. 14 of them to get this time. An extra 6. I think you can remember, luckily, thanks to the fact that we can write them on the map. We don't have to memorize, which... If you had to memorize this... Oh, golly gee, no. No, no, no. No, no fun. No fun whatsoever. Okay, so we need to think this through again. I had a really good plan for this last time. It's going to be a really similar plan to Intermediate, I think, but... There's just a bunch of extra ones added that we have to deal with, which we will do. But we're going to quickly plan this out before we get started. Just because if we don't plan this out, we're going to regret it. Okay, so first of all, once... Oops, that's, that's, that's the C chart. Uh, I want to go to the map. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. So a few of them aren't really that much in the way, which is nice. But I'm seeing said, a few of them are definitely tr tricky to get, so we're going to have to think cleverly of this one here. So, uh, looking at the map here, I want to say, okay, the easiest thing we're going to want to do first is get the one on the bottom there that's close to us. Probably head up to the top at some point because we're going to want to do that. Okay, I think I have a basic game plan here. It's crazy, but it just might work. Let's try it. Okay, so here's the plan. First of all, actually, it probably was a stupid idea to do this because I need to shoot with an arrow right now. That great spin tag is a waste of time, but that's okay. Shoot this thing first. There's a thing over here. It'll cause a bridge to show up here, and it'll also get rid of the spikes here, which is really important because we're going to need to do that in order to get a... Well, after we get this one right here. Now we can head back, grab that one along the way, which is kind of unfortunate because it's going to be kind of a bit of backtracking because we're going to want to head over here at some point regardless. Or will we? Actually, we really don't need to head here necessarily, so this isn't terrible. We're going to head up this way now once again, and we're going to take on... We're going to do the this same process basically as the intermediate. We're going to... This is the worst episode of commentating on because I have to like think and commentate and also think at the same time, which is like double thinking, and that's just the recipe for disaster when it comes to me, but we already know this. So hit this one. We'll go ahead and that's third that's the third down. This one's tricky. Get your grappling hook ready because we're gonna actually in order to get up to this one, we need to essentially do a rope bounce. So whoop! Grab this. And that's four down. Uh, I'm just gonna avoid the rope and I even waste time trying to get rid of it. Head down this way, grab this one while you're here. That'll be five. Uh, head over this way, and we're actually gonna grab this one along the way, and I'm not sure what this switch actually unlocks, probably just the spikes nearby, which we don't really need for any reason, so 
We're gonna get that one taken care of, and then we just kinda do a really similar process to what we did last time. We hit this first, uh, seven. We head over here, hit this switch to unlock the spikes, we head down there for eight, uh, and then we kinda just go from there. So, at this point it just kinda works kinda similar to Intermediate, except for the fact that we had to make a slight detour along the way for one of the other ones. So, that's the plan here. Can I actually hit this with a... Okay, the grappling hook does actually hit those. Good! Saving time. I actually am almost tempted to see if I can grapple across using that, but it's not really worth it because I need to get the one over here. If I had done that, that would actually actually screw me over. I probably would have lost because this one would have been pretty much abandoned. So, we're going to head over here, shoot this. That locks the thing over there, and then we circle around to grab those ones. And then at this point, we're pretty good to go. Uh, we're going to probably... I'm going to essentially just... We're going to speed over here. Oh, actually, the Great Spin Attack does trigger them as well, which is nice because it doesn't mean we don't get stunned. We don't get stunned if you hit it with the Great Spin Attack. Okay. In that case, honestly, abuse the Great Spin Attack even more than I am because, as you can see, it helps save time a lot, especially if you can end by hitting one of these. Then you save a ton of time. Great Spin Attack is basically your speed-up tool. It's really nice. So, speaking of which... Speed over this way, and the last one's right here, then we just have to make the same path back to where we were to get the treasure chest. So the same path we made it back from intermediate, and we'll get there. So keep an eye on the top screen while you're- Oh god, it's beeping! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh, come- Oh god, I didn't have enough time! Oh! Okay! I need to, I'm gonna sit here and actually plan this out a little bit better then, because that actually failed. What did I do? What could I do better? Oh shoot, I screwed up with something major here. Oh, because I didn't hit this thing first, and that's something I needed to do. Oh, we might be done, guys. We might be done. Because that's gonna cost a ton of time I cannot afford to, just to waste. Because I needed to... Actually, I could have salvaged... No, I could... I, I don't know! I don't know, guys! Actually, I... Oh, what am I doing? I could have just... No, I, I have completely screwed myself over here now. That was... That was bad. That was very bad. Okay, at least I can get this one now, so it's not the end of the world. And actually... Okay, I can still salvage this. I can still salvage this. I think. This is bad, but it's not the end of the world bad. Okay, we're gonna just, we're gonna make a little detour here. Gonna be crazy. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a close one, guys. This is going to be an extremely close one. Okay. We wanna head over this way. We wanna grab the one over here on this thing. We wanna get the thing of the arrow. Oh, now, now I'm, now I'm panicking. I'm panicking. This might be a huge screw up. Can we do it, though? Can. We. Do it. We've hit the eighth one. Great spin attack. Hit that one. Save a ton of time. Head down this way. It's the one that's like up on the top that was there since the beginner. That one's always the one that takes the most time to get. Oh, I didn't boomerang the thing. Oh, we're done. We're so done. We're so, so, yeah, we're done. This is done. A natural disaster yet. We're done. Okay. New game plan, guys. I have it this time, I swear. Oh, I just royally botched it up. I, I missed a few really key steps early on, and that really screwed things over. Okay. That's 10 done. Oh, I don't know. I think I've missed one. I don't know which one I've missed, though. I can't think of which one I've missed. Oh, no. Is there one I've missed? I don't know. There's 12, I know where 13 is. Where's 14, though? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I know where 13 is, I don't know where 14 is. Which one did I miss? Which one did I miss? Oh, it's beeping already. No! No! Is it, was it what, this one over here that I missed? Was it this one over here that I missed? No, it wasn't. Okay, I don't know which ones I missed now. Crap! Oh, I'm botching all of this up here! Oh, no! Failure montage highlights! We're going to go to the map here. I'm going to draw in the, the order here. So this is one. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six. Actually, wait. Do I want to? Hmm. Yeah, we're going to. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. There, now we can make sure we won't miss one here. I know this is pretty much the most illegible thing in the world, but that's okay, because I can read it enough. Maybe. Oh my god, I can barely read this. This is just bad. So I have the plan. Oh shoot, I forgot to get the thing to start with. Already starting off on a bad foot here. Wasting a few seconds. That's okay. We can it's not fatal, I hope. We unfortunately have to go around this way. Which is why do I, I question I question why I do this in the why do I do that in the first place? That doesn't help me. That slows me down actually. Yeah, why am I doing this in the first place? That doesn't... That's that, No, that, that makes no sense for me to hit that thing in the first place. That's what's screwing me up. I'm hitting that one. And it's unnecessary because there's no... Because I can still get up here from there. Why am I hitting that one in the first place, guys? Ugh. I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, we need the bow. Head over here. Shoot. I could probably shoot the eye from back there, honestly. I don't know why I don't just shoot the eye from back there. That would save me time. There's, like, there's these little, there's just these little things that you can do to save time in this run, and I failed to do them, and it screws me over every time. Okay, so I definitely know where the last three are. I didn't miss one. You can apparently hit that one back and have the spikes come back. Okay, scary. There's still time. I have time, guys. Come on. Thirteen. No, come on. Ugh. At least I hit fourteen here. At least I hit the 14th one. There's no chance I'm gonna get the treasure chest in time, but I've hit the 14th one. I got the chest to spawn, but I'm gonna run out of time. Okay, well, damn it. Okay, I know what to do, I swear. Okay, I have a game plan, guy. It's the same game plan as before. I'm trying the same thing. This time, okay, this time I know the things I screwed up on, the things I can do to fix this, so. Oh, of course I screwed up on the one that's worth 100 rupees per attempt! Oh. oh, I've been doing this for 10 minutes, guys! Oh, I'm cutting out all of these attempts. It's gonna be just bad. Uh, in case I haven't showed it off, I have numbered these now, so I have a game plan. I'm still sticking up this game plan, I still like it. It's, I'm pretty sure it's the game plan I- I'm just not sure which ones I can do to save time here. One thing I'm doing is I'm not hitting that switch before because there's no reason to, and that's probably costing me a lot of the time that I need to complete this. So that's step one, is not to do that because that is bad. Step two, we're going to hit this. Okay. We're off to a decent start now because now I, I'm not screwing things up from the get-go. So we head down here, douche douche, get slash. That's two down. Okay, so this is gonna work out better because now the bridge is on this side, so I don't have to backtrack, which was costing me quite a bit of time. And there was no reason to because I can jump up to the thing from there. So th getting the spikes over there, th there's just no, there's no reason to. There's no reason to get rid of those spikes because we can jump the gap here. Skipping that one for reasons. Uh, get this. That's five. Head down here. Hit this switch. I wonder if that takes time, too, to activate that switch. I'm not sure if it takes time or not. Either way, uh, hit that. Hit this one. The six down. Okay. Okay. We got this, guys. And gals. I'm not gonna be sexist. We got this, guys and gals. Uh, douche. Hit the switch over here. Unlock the way across this thing. Grab this quickly. Seven down. Okay. I have the number at least, so I don't. I'm now I'm confident that I'm not just like missing these by being a derp. Okay, get ready. Have my thing ready. Go, bow, shoot bow. Boom! I can. Hit, okay, I can hit it from here, so that does help in the long run. 
I wish I could grab all across the other gap where, uh, 10 is, the one that I'm going to right now, because that's just inconvenient now. Spin across. I'm not sure if the spin attack wastes more time than it helps. I'm honestly not sure, because it does take three spin attacks to just activate in the first place. Doesn't help when I go in the wrong spot. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't help when I screw that up, too, and then I get the stun. I don't know. I do feel like I've done this faster than before. The time for this must be just so low. You must have barely any time to do this. It's just... Oh, this is tough. I like how tough this maze puzzle is. It's It requires planning and forethought, which is cool. I like that. If I fail for some reason, I'm not great spent hacking in the future, because this is just bad. But it's not beeping yet. I think it was just that one step. I, I didn't need to hit that thing. I don't know why I thought I needed to hit that thing, but I clearly didn't, because now... It's not beeping, I should have enough time. Are we gonna do this without even beeping at all? The cutscene must cut out the time there because I just cleared that really nicely considering how much I screwed that up. But there we go, Victorious at the Expert level finally it only took me like 13 minutes to do. I don't actually, it's probably not that much, but still. Oh. So we get a heart container and we get a reward. We make some of our money back here of 300 rupees, so we're not too terribly off. Oh, that hurts. There's a huge chunk of my money there, but you know what? Kudos to me! So, here's the thing then. There's another treasure chest in there. So hit this guy again. You don't have to pay this time. He's like, oh, you've already completed all the challenges, but uh, if you want to play over here, why not? There might be something hidden in here. In fact, there is. So, uh, now if you just head here, the door will be like, hey, I'm a door. I'm just gonna open up here. Don't mind me. And we can now head over here and uh, get a reward for all of our hard up. Well, uh, basically there's a hidden thing in here. We're gonna really grab that before we're before we are through with the day. So you do have to unlock all the things again. Actually, we don't even really have to unlock any of them anyway, because the reward is actually the treasures over here. And you wonder how do you get in there? And you might think it's some kind of crazy. I found the water. Some crazy convoluted process? Nope, it's just bombs. That's literally all it is, don't overthink it. Just blow up the wall here, it's blow up -able. and you can get yourself a church chest which will contain a second wisdom gem. So we're now at 18 wisdom gems actually, we'll actually look at the collection screen and catch up here. We're at 17, 17, and 18, so we're actually wrapping up on these uh, gems really, really quickly, which is cool. So one more thing I want to show off before we're through here, um, just because I thought this is kind of cool. Uh, we can just head around this way to go get it. Is you can actually, use, um, I found the because I was trying to, it took me forever to figure out how to get that wisdom gem because I didn't just, I didn't think to just bomb it. So I was like, how do you get over to that thing? Mysteries, craziness, and there's something kind of cool here. If you uh, position yourself, you can actually use the rope trick with these chests here, like this, and you can sprint across and actually end up on this part, which I think is pretty cool. You can't really go from any, anywhere from here. But you can end up on that part of the thing and walk around, which is just kind of nifty. It tickles my funny bone. Ever the slightest. So, let's slowly but surely make our way out of here, and then we still have the rest of this goddamn sea to explore. It's already a 40 minute video, almost. I'm gonna have to condense this down to one video. Ugh. Maze Island. Yes, I want to leave this island. I never want to come back to this island. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm so drained. Oh, my energy. I can feel it just sapping from my body. All right, there's not really much else to do in the Northeastern Sea, though. I'm going to just demonstrate that we can get to the Northwestern Sea from here. And then I'm just going to swing around, uh, show off how that, that the tornado doesn't work, and then we're going to head to the island, uh, to the Northeast, because that's where we're going to need to go for plot, basically. Hey, there's a pirate over there as well. So, if you want to be bombarded by even more pirates, you can go to those ones too, but... We're just gonna quickly explore the rest of the sea. It'll be a thing. Actually, you know what? We're probably gonna head to the Northeast Island next episode. Because at this point, screw it. It's not worth the time. Because I don't know how... Actually, I don't, I don't know how long... I don't know how much I'm cutting out of this video, that's the thing. Even if I cut out a lot, it's still gonna take up a lot of the time, though. So that is the thing. It's still going to be a fairly lengthy video at this point. So yeah, we're going to show off the just show off the fact you can go over to this part of the sea. Show off the fact that um, if you try to head to that one island, you can't. 
and uh, we'll go from there. So as you can see, Northwestern Sea can get you can get from here. We can now get those two treasures at some point. I will wait till I have all of the uh, treasure maps, pretty much all the rest of the treasure maps in the game though, before I do a treasure map episode. Though. So we'll finally get these two very soon, but we're not going to get them it now. Essentially, we're going to have to wait a little bit. Yes, I know, there's an enemy. Oh, it's this one. Oh, I've never seen him before. Oh, hey, 20 rupees. Good, I need them. I waste all my money. Oh, my voice is, like, dead, by the way, right now. I'm, like, struggling to keep it together. No beetle. So, yeah, we can try to head to this place called the Isle of Runes. But, which, in case you haven't noticed, yeah. <laughs> oh, my voice is gone. Um, in case you haven't noticed, you know, Isle of Frost, Isle of M. Well, actually, I guess it was Gorn Island, so... I guess it doesn't really matter. Actually, now that Beetle's all the way, quicker path. There you go. We'll hug the rocks. Hopefully not go through the rocks, because that would be bad for my ship's health. Uh, really? Do we have to deal with enemies? Oh, well, one was worth 20. I can take a 20 rupee one. No, 20 rupee! The game's just blatantly giving me the middle finger at this point. Just blatant middle fingerage going on here. It, it feels bad. It does not feel good. Alright, so we'll demonstrate what happens if you try to go to the Isle of Runes. Do I want to try and make it to the next island before I end this video? That's the big question. The answer... is... Uh, I'm trying to think of how long... You know what, I don't think it's going to take that long to do the next island. So we can do a tr we can do the pirate ships and get a treasure before we're done. So you can try to sneak by this tornado, think you're so clever. Thing get, get, get by the tornado, but no. One does not simply escape the tornado. Please don't send me next to Jolene, by the way. Oh, you kind of sent me next to Jolene. That's just rude. So yeah, can't get to that island, unfortunately, so we're gonna actually need to head to this new island. Uh, as Lionbex kind of hint to us, we can't get anywhere near that island. Maybe we should search this area for clues at the other island. <laughs> I wish you'd start... Screw you, Lionbex. I'm just not in the mood right now. Oh god, Jolene is so heading to my face right now. It's not even funny. Don't want to deal with her, we're gonna skip around here by using this. By using our new thing here. And at this point, depending on how... I guess I'll, once I, I'll have to see how much I'm gonna cut out, whether or not I'll head to the island right now, but I think it makes more sense to leave the, the, the suspense on what this new island is for next time. And I think we're gonna end the episode here, guys. We took on May's ep an island. My brain hurts. I'm done for a bit. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode where we head to this island and figure out a way to pass that tornado and see what else lies in store for us. So that's the plan. I'll see you guys next time. This is Lucky70X signing out. Bye bye.